Hello everybody and happy October. Today is October 1st and it's also the anniversary of Walt Disney World here in Florida. I wore my 1971 shirt to celebrate and I have a fun little adventure planned for us because as you know, watercraft is one of the transportation methods here at Walt Disney World. And one of those methods has just returned today after being gone for a really long time. So today I'm gonna to take you on a voyage of the Blue Route to visit the Bay Lake Resort, some of them, and two resorts that are opening year resorts here at Walt Disney World, so let's get started. The Blue Route, okay, let's do this. Are we gonna make it? I think so, woo! Awesome, okay, we made it. Onto the first one, the first one. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Um, I do want to welcome aboard all of my VIPs. That's my very important princesses. <laughs> Those are grown up ones. Let's go sailing. All right, we are taking off on the very first blue route back. Now they have been using this boat for other things, but this route hasn't been running since before the pandemic. It is very windy today. My goodness. Everybody wave to Doug. He's the other blue boat driver. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. Woo! Welcome back. Awesome. There you go. So there's more than one blue boat. It's gray, rainy, and really windy, but it feels nice and it feels like a really good way to start October. Right when I got to the boat dock, the very first Blue Root boat was there, so I had to hustle a little bit to get this started. But now, it's smooth sailing. So see right there, the shoe tree, the famous shoe tree. All right, so our first stop is at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. And there's the beautiful Bon Voyage boat. <laughs> Look at that pretty blue. All right, some folks got off, so I was able to get in the back and the center, and I think we'll get some really pretty views from here. There are pretty views from anywhere on the boats. Um, the watercraft are one of my favorite ways to get around. You can get from Magic Kingdom to the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, but this route specifically takes you between Fort Wilderness, Wilderness Lodge, and Disney's Contemporary Resort, which is what I guess will be next. And we'll get off there and stop and walk around and hang out. Awesome, he's talking about Discovery Island and Bay Lake. He told us we're on the inaugural sailing of the return of the Blue Route. The very first, I just happened to catch it. Did anyone out there visit Discovery Island? I'm curious. Wow, that's beautiful. Honestly, a boat ride on the first day of October with this moody gray sky. I just, like, it's a vibe. It's really a vibe, I love it. And we're pulling up to Disney's Contemporary Resort. A very nice, smooth ride. I love the sound of the horn. Well, look at that boat. It's going fast, wow. <laughs> the waves are like carrying the boats. Nice. Off they go. All right, we're gonna get off and hang out for a bit, and then we'll pop back on. Woohoo! He said it again. It's the first time in three years that they've been running this route or route, however you say it. Thank you. For sure. There are two blue boats running right now. This is the Mariner. So beautiful. The captain is amazing, he's so cool. He told me that this is based on a 44-foot Morgan sailboat built in Tampa. I love that. 
And this is one of the original 1971 boats. Everything is custom, so when something needs to be replaced, they have to have them come out and, you know, custom make it, which is incredible. Look at that beauty. It really is gorgeous, and it was a lovely ride. All right, we're gonna get back on though, but first let's hang out at the Contemporary for a little bit. Nice. One thing I forgot to do, and I'll ask on the next boat, is ask for a trading card. Many of the forms of transportation at Walt Disney World have trading cards. Like there are monorail trading cards, one for each color. There are water transportation boat trading cards, one for each boat, and I have quite a lot of them. I think there were even minibus cards for a while. If anyone remembers, let me know. But I do wanna ask when we get back on if they have any blue back in stock yet or maybe from back in the day they still have them i i kind of doubt they will but i might as well ask and we're here at disney's very unique contemporary resort opened in 1971 with walt disney world so this is an opening day opening year situation right here let's take a picture with my favorite mickey statue here to commemorate the day i don't know why they play mild 90s rock out here but I will tell you that in my car I was listening to the Twilight soundtrack just because of the weather and it's October. I don't know, it just, ooh. I've shown you this spot before, but it always bears repeating in case you forgot or didn't see it. You can put your phone or camera right here, set it on a timer and take a fun picture right here with this Mickey. You can sit in the ears, stand around it, do whatever you want. I didn't notice it was full of water so you know just be aware hey Mickey since they have a Joffrey's in the lobby and it's October I decided to get an iced pumpkin latte let's see how it is I haven't had one from Joffrey's this year looks pretty milky pretty milky it's actually really good. It's very different than the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. It's got its own flavor. You could definitely taste all the, you know, spices and stuff in there. It's less cinnamony, but it's still good. I like it. Happy October. Fairly recently, the contemporary lobby underwent a pretty big refurbishment to celebrate Disney World's 50th anniversary. It pays more of an homage to the early days and to Mary Blair, who created the Grand Canyon mural in the lobby and so much beautiful Disney art. And that was when they opened Steakhouse 71. And you can see that the number 71 is in a gold shape of the Contemporary Resort. And the hallway to get in is lined with photos from the opening of Walt Disney World here in Florida, which is really cool. You can see them surveying the swampland. Walt and Roy and animators and artists, Imagineers, some of the first early attractions, the monorail, and the opening day of Magic Kingdom. Must have been incredible to be here. Some of you must have been there. So this is a great way to kind of say happy birthday Disney World. Happy birthday Walt Disney World. Another favorite thing to do here at the Contemporary is head up for a nice view of Magic Kingdom. I knew that I would be saying the word root a lot in this video, so I looked it up to be sure, and apparently it can be pronounced either route or root. It's kind of regional and it varies, and I think I use them interchangeably. Sometimes I say route and sometimes I say root. Like when I think of saying route 66, I say root. Uh, but sometimes they say route, so now I need to know, are you team route or team route? And the more I say it, the weirder it sounds. Now I'm like, route, root, what, route, route? I don't know what to say anymore. But either way, there are so many great things about the blue route being back. And one of them is that resort guests or Disney guests can travel between the contemporary Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge much more easily to dine and shop Right now, we were told that it's only gonna be running after 3 p.m. So this is an afternoon, evening thing. If you wanna have dinner, if you wanna have a snack, check out all the Halloween decorations and new merchandise and sweets and treats 
at the resorts because each resort has its own shops and I've shown you tours of some of them in past videos. The Contemporary has awesome shops here with great Halloween merchandise and I feel like not that far from now, Christmas. Yeah, it's only October 1st. We're not talking about Christmas yet, okay? But we know it's coming. We know it's around the corner. Is it behind me? It's behind me, isn't it? Anyway, let's keep going. <sighs> Christmas, man. Let's stay focused, people. We're gonna go up another level to check out shops and the view of Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I have the Twilight songs in my head. I love the architecture in here. It's so 1970s, so unique and funky and cool. And of course, the Mary Blair mural, the Grand Canyon, the BVG shop here in the lobby. I love their Halloween display and also the Fantasia shop with those big iconic Mickey ears. Take a quick look since it's October 1st. The Halloween stuff, I've done some pretty detailed tours of all of this. So you may have seen it, but just a quick look at how orange everything is. How fun. I'm such a big fan of the ceramic Mickeys, especially this guy. I already have one very much like this, so. But yay. Now I've shown you the five-legged goat many times, and I just love to admire the artistry of this mural, and I hope that it is just always here, always. Let's take a quick walk through Fantasia. Hi Mickey. They have a lot of like toys and stuff in here. A lot of the transportation models. A lot of different unique toys and gifts in here. It's fun to look around, it really is. But the Halloween stuff's all over in BVG. Christmas ornaments! I told you Christmas is around the corner. I told you. Oh, these are really pretty though. <gasps> I do love Christmas. So they have the Disney 100th anniversary ornaments out. Wait, does this? It does. Well, kinda. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, this one. I saw this in the year-round Christmas store in uh, Disney Springs. Days of Christmas, I think it's called. I showed you that one then. This is beautiful. They all seem to be about $24.99 to $34.99-ish around that price range. <gasps> Look at this one. Wait, wait, wait. Because I have not seen this one. Is it? It's really got a little bell thingy in it. How much is this one? $24.99, that's actually less than a lot of the others. I love this. Yeah, that one's so cute. You can also find ornaments of a bunch of the resorts at the year-round Christmas store in Disney Springs, but at the individual resorts, they'll often have their resort. So here is the contemporary resort ornament, which I love, because it's got the monorail going through it. Like, that's awesome. This is one of the sketchbook Ornaments, beautiful. Oh, there's so many pretty ones. I should, oh, the 50th anniversary ones left too. If you missed that, here's your chance. They're not on sale yet, but I bet they will be. Maybe not, but $24.99, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm really tempted with this one though. I love a classic Mickey. I love how just like festive this is. I kind of love this. Hmm. All right, I better get out of there before I spent money. <laughs> we'll come Christmas ornament shopping soon. I love this neon pop art Mickey. He's cool. Now, of course, one of the very unique features of the Contemporary Resort is that the monorail runs through it. So let's watch it go. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's head outside and take a look out at the first day of October, Magic Kingdom. It's so windy and gray and cozy. And there's Cinderella Castle. There she is. So my peeps know that for a lot of September we had family in town and we were doing a lot of family stuff that I didn't vlog, we were just hanging out and having fun. And one of the nights we had dinner here at Chef Mickey's, which was really nice. And then we came out here and watched the fireworks and it was one of the funnest nights of the entire vacation. We were all singing, there was so much space. Everybody cheered when Tinkerbell came out, which like, I almost cried, like it made my night. You could see Tinkerbell from up here. It was beautiful and amazing. You can make reservations at California Grill and if you time them right, you can watch 
the fireworks from up there, which is really cool. But even without reservations, you can come up here and watch the fireworks happily ever after from up here. So cool. And here comes a monorail back home. I love the look of the monorails. They are so retro and cool. Being that Fantasia is one of my favorite Disney films. It is so beautiful. I love that this shop is themed to it. And I love these prints. I love the design. Love it all. I love that we're seeing both Halloween and Christmas today. That's very October for Florida. It's very Florida. It's very Orlando. And it's very October. Just one of those things. All right, let's go down and catch the boat again. I think I see it out there right now. There's no way I'm gonna make that one. So it's probably gonna be a little bit of a wait. So I'll take my time getting down there. I hear the boat, I hear the boat. Can we make it? Let's see. Hustle, hustle. Just missed it, but we'll just wait a few minutes for the next one. There are two running. Fall in Florida. Spanish moss swaying in the breeze. A gray, rainy day. Nice. Look, I just noticed they have these Halloween themed. How cute. That's adorable, I love that. Here's a cool thing. This sign talks about fishing in Bay Lake. You can get largemouth bass, bluegill, catfish, sunfish. That's neat. So up here you can choose a boat to Fort Wilderness or a boat to Wilderness Lodge. The birds are chilling right now. They're having the time of their lives. I love all things nautical, so I just love seeing like the tie-ups for the boat, the docks, hearing the lapping waves, the wind thingy. That's a technical term for it, in case you didn't know. Wind thingy? Wind sock? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's wind sock. Maybe. <laughs> Hello. Hello, bird. Look at all the boats going at the same time. Neat. The whole fleet's cool, isn't it? At any given time, there are many watercraft engaged in many activities out on Bay Lake. Hmm, something must be going on. They just turned on their lights. And they look like they were in, I don't know, some kind of security outfits maybe? I'm not sure. Whatever it is, good job. So the boat with the flashing lights and what looked like security has been over at over there for quite a while. I wonder what's going on. I'm so curious. Of course we'll never know. And blue is coming for us. There's two blues. Maybe one for each. Wilderness Lodge and Fort Wilderness. Two blues on the horizon. Ahoy. <laughs> They're both. How cool. So pretty, they both are. Whoa, the dock's shaking. The dock is a rockin'. All right, so we're gonna go to Fort Wilderness, actually. We haven't been on this boat yet, and, uh, and then we'll go back to Wilderness Lodge after. And I remembered to ask for a card, so I got the motor launch, the blue, awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna get on. I'm gonna find out the name of this ship, the A. Hello, thank you. pleasure, welcome aboard. Thank you so much. Oh, let's see, this looks a little bit dry. It looks like someone else's bottom dried it for me. All right, we got a good crew, so we are aboard the Adventurer. Yay, and the vessels, adventurer, navigator, explorer, seafarer, mariner, which we rode earlier, and voyager have been in operation since October 1st, 1971. They're originally steam powered. How cool. Hi, Steve. <laughs> That's a cool one. It's all metal. 
If you stop this service, you're Ah, work boat. Cool. <laughs> Nice. I got some fellow watercraft fans here. <laughs> oh, I love the fact that we're going to get this where we started. That's enough here. 1971, it was the first we started to get the world to get the gas. So back there is the dry dock where they take the boats in every night. It looks like the boat that was out at Discovery Island is gone, but everybody's kind of talking about memories of it and stuff. It's cool. It is so windy and it's so beautiful out. These views are incredible with the milky clouds. Ah. <laughs> They're talking about the shoe tree that we passed by. As people retire, they throw their uh, shoes onto this tree, and apparently there's good fishing there. Uh, yeah, it must be what's inside the shoes. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. The entrance to Discovery Island. Yeah. Oh, my God, it looks so crazy all grown over. Yeah. If we were able to get up there, which we can't do in a hot tempo, we can't do it in this. That's crazy. And there's the trade winds. I think, isn't the trade winds the newest in the fleet? Yeah. Really pretty. So Disney likes to launch the boats or relaunch them on its anniversary. <laughs> That's cool. I want to go out just in time for the 50th anniversary. Oh, Treadwinds is really pretty too, but these are prettier because they're I more classic. Those, I think so. I like I took them all and I tell you this is my favorite. Yeah. Really pretty. Alright, okay, we're gonna get off here. I tell people all the time, if you do this like 40 times a day for two years, this is it. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much. Look at this beautiful vessel. I'm so happy to see big lines of guests lined up for all the water vessels here. They're not only a convenient mode of transportation, they're actually a really beautiful, I would say attraction in and of themselves. It's just really nice to do a boat ride here in Florida and on Bay Lake you get views of the resorts and Discovery Island and all the beautiful nature surrounding this area. And the boat captains, drivers, whatever they call them here, are usually a wealth of knowledge. If you can chat with them, obviously not when they're busy, you know, they, ha they need to focus on their job first. But sometimes you get a boat with just a few people like we just had, and we had some fun. People were chatting about memories, and the watercraft, and Disney World opening year, and all of that. It was very, very fun. You can learn so much. And they're really passionate about driving the watercraft and I don't know it's just a really interesting thing that I think is very Florida you know <laughs> yeah it's a very Florida thing you come to Florida you want a boat ride this is a great way to do it it is a free mode of transportation you do not need a park ticket you can take boats from many of the different resorts you can take the boats from Magic Kingdom to the other Bay Lake resorts there are friendship boats over at Epcot there's a lot of boat rides you can take, but I think the original 1971 watercraft are something special. But we're here at Fort Wilderness Campsite, so let's stroll around a bit. We're on the beach. Pretty recently, me and Sam stayed in a cabin here at the fort, and we did a video on it, if you wanna check that out. And during that stay, we sat out on the beach 
and watched the fireworks at Magic Kingdom and the electrical water pageant and it was incredible. It was just one of the coolest nights ever. Staying in the cabins was so cozy. It's like glamping, you know, it's not full on camping. You can stay here with RVs, tents, teardrop, trailers, all sorts of different things and rent a campsite, but you can also stay in the cabins, which are going to be refurbished soon. So we wanted to stay in the old cabins before they were changed, which we did, and we loved it. I love that sound. And when we stayed here, we also rented a golf cart, which was an awesome way to get around the fort. Look at all the golf carts decorated for Halloween. They look so pretty. We stayed in August and there were already campsites decorated for Halloween. And I bet you now it's even better. Oh, these look so good. Kudos to the peeps who decorated up. I think this one's a favorite, but they all look great. I see a Kevin one back there. Look at how cute, it's like they hit a witch. That is hilarious. There's a spider one. I like the spider. Let's pop into the settlement trading post. I just got to pet a doggy. I'm so happy. Anyway, here's the Halloween activities going on. Let's check out the gift shop. Christmas ornaments. Oh, look at how cute these are. Chip and Dale. And they say Fort Wilderness. And they're canoeing. But it looks like they're in a leaf. That's really pretty. It's a sketchbook ornament. It's $26.99. Very pretty. It actually looks like their Halloween section's gotten smaller since we were here last time, but it's still here. When you stay here at the campsite, and especially when you have a golf cart, which we did for our stay, which was, I highly recommend, highly recommend. Look at that one all cute with witch hats. I don't know if you can see it. Right there, you see it. But anyway, with your golf cart, you can go around the different campsites and look at people's decorations. And people decorate all out for Halloween. Now, I don't have a golf cart, and honestly, it would take forever to walk around these loops because this is huge. But the campsite is actually an opening day resort here. But anyway, just this first loop right here, I already see some Halloween decorations. And of course, at night, they're gonna turn them on. They're gonna be all lit up. Everything's gonna be like re-inflated. But how cute is this already? We got Vampire, a Mickey and Minnie, Jack Skellington, a Mickey Ghost, Sally with her deadly nightshade pumpkin, another pumpkin. This lit up, this is, this is awesome. And now I'm just gonna have a tiny stroll. <gasps> I see more decorations. Oh, this better not turn into a multi-hour stroll, y'all. How cute, we got the hitchhiking ghosts. We got Minnie in her cute little pumpkin outfit. A little I smell children with the Sanderson sisters in a pumpkin. I love it. Even though I don't have a golf cart, I can walk around this one loop. I'm gonna walk around this one loop and just show you the decorations before we go back to Wilderness Lodge because I can't take it, I love them, and it's October. I love seeing people's camping setups. It's so cozy. I see more decorations. We got a very cute little boo ghost with a lantern and a hat and a sign that says boo. This one's cool, and I don't think I've seen this inflatable, this particular one. It's like a Mickey bat, and it's black and purple and orange. That's really pretty, and they've got some like cutouts here. Super cute, and they've got a stitch back there, and a ghost, and some purple lights, looks good. We got some minimalist decorations here. Mickey's, I'll take it. Still very cute, and it says happy haunting. Weekend forecast, camping with a chance of drinking love that and i love the flamingos those are the halloween flamingos i saw those in one of my halloween shopping videos super cute love it oh my gosh the horse drawn it's not the horse drawn carriage that's like the the ride i forgot what it's called my brain blanked because i saw horses but look at how pretty listen to their clomping and you can do this kind of activity here Oh, the bus has got to get by. That's a cool bus. An Avatar bus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> funny. Fort Wilderness is the best. I love it so much. And what's cool about the Blue Route now is that you can pop over here and see at least a little bit of the decorations. Just these first loops that are right next to the settlement. 
you can like check them out and stroll around a little bit, which you couldn't do for a long time that easily. Like you could, but it wasn't that easy unless you were staying here. So now you can come and admire the campers decorating skills. I gotta say, I love seeing everybody's creativity. I love seeing what people come up with. I love decorated campsites, both for Halloween and Christmas. They People get so creative and fun here. I see one more. I'm just gonna walk a little bit more. I don't wanna get lost and I don't wanna spend hours walking around here because I easily can. Oh, here comes the horses again. This is a horse-drawn carriage. Beautiful. You can see the horses here at Tricircle D Ranch and they're gorgeous. I'll do this one day. This looks so fun. That's so fun. Ah, here are a couple of the cabins mixed in with the campsites. There you go, you can get an idea. And you can watch our tour of what they look like inside and our stay, we grilled. We had an awesome time. Highly recommend staying in one before they remodel them. And you know, after two, because they could be amazing, who knows? But either way, they're really cozy and really fun. <sighs> okay, I did one loop, I met some people, and I got to pet some puppies. So I would say, day made. Whenever I meet someone who's walking a dog, not service dogs, like dogs are allowed here, so they're dogs, and I always ask, of course, may I pet, may I say hi, and everyone has said yes, and the dogs have been super friendly and super sweet, and I got to pet them, and they were super cute, so best day ever. Okay, I love this place. I just love it, and everybody's usually really friendly and in a good mood. <laughs> this is Clementine's Beach. It looks like we just missed one of the blues, but we'll catch another. It's about every 15, 20 minutes. The whole route, <laughs> now I made up a new word, is about 20 minutes. So usually won't wait longer than 20. Take the green flag to Magic Kingdom and take the blue flag to Wilderness Lodge and Contemporary. Here she comes, back on the Mariner, back to Wilderness Lodge. It looks like a different captain. Have they swapped out? Oh, maybe. There she blows. again as we get closer to sunset the sky is just stunning this is fall in Florida y'all out there is the shoe tree where retired watercraft crew throw out their shoes it's a Disney tradition institution everybody loves it For this last leg of the trip, we're gonna stop at Contemporary where we're not getting off and then we will end the day at Wilderness Lodge where we started. There's a close up look at Discovery Island over there. It's like the entrance, everything is, well not everything, but a bunch of stuff is still out there. It's crazy. When we 
stopped. I switched over to the other side so we could have a different view on the way back. Welcome aboard. For your safety, please remain seated. Keeping hands, arms, feet, and legs inside our boat at all times. And supervise your children. Now relax and enjoy your cruise. And we'll have you at your port of call in just a few minutes. Thanks for sailing with us. through the contemporary. Oh, that is gorgeous. Woo! us the sky is turning blue and in front of us it's like gray and milky and sunset breaking through and we're returning to Wilderness Lodge Thanks so much. The mermaid is docked here. The geyser's going off. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen it from this side. I've seen it from the other side. That's neat. Fun fact, there's a geyser here. It goes off. Sometimes they've told me every hour, sometimes they've told me every half hour, 45 minutes. I've been told different things. But it's cool. Lodge. I love these walkways out here, these boardwalks. Whoa! <laughs> and all the vegetation. It's like wild Florida. Oh! back at Fort Wilderness Resort. I love a day riding boats. Like, you just can't go wrong. There are many different types of boats. Ships, water vessels, water taxis, all different types of vessels on lakes, seas. Are we really getting into this? No, we are not. Today we rode Disney's water taxis, water vessels, resort, transportation, watercraft, whatever you want to call them. The Blue Route or the Blue Route Potato Potato. It is very fun for me to try out different modes of theme park transportation and see updated ways that we can get around and also see Disney World bringing back attractions, modes of transportation, things that have been gone since before the pandemic coming back into the park. Because believe it or not, we're in 2023 and there's still a lot that has not returned to you know the world in general, but to theme parks and to Walt Disney World in particular. So the more that comes back, the more there is for guests the more convenient it makes things for guests and the more pleasant and more fun, honestly, and more jobs 
it's just good for everybody. So I'm very happy that the Blue Route has returned and I think everybody riding it is also really happy too. I'm sure there are guests riding the Blue Route today that didn't even know it was gone, but I think a lot did because I chatted with quite a few people today and I heard people chatting with the boat captain drivers and yeah, it was, it was a hot topic today and quite a few times, I didn't press record fast enough, but we heard them say like this is the inaugural uh, sailing back and we were on the very first one which was cool that was just totally a coincidence I didn't know that was gonna be the first one and I think this was kind of a fun cute way to celebrate Walt Disney World's anniversary 52nd year of operation here in Florida and Central Florida Walt Disney World is an institution here as we all know it's huge you know and I've been coming here for as long as I can remember since I was a kid I grew up in Miami so trips to Walt Disney World were just a part of a life that I'm grateful that I was able to have and as I grew up and became an adult I was like I love this place and I love Universal and I love theme parks so eventually I made that four hour move from Miami to the Orlando area and I couldn't be happier to be here and to have seen all the changes this area has gone through in just the few years that I have lived here it's crazy honestly how much has changed obviously with a big world changing event that had a lot to do with it but even even around that a lot has changed and continues to change and I love to see and share these updates with you so that you know what to expect when you come to visit and also just to bring you a bit of like the Disney magic and Orlando magic when you're not here or even if you are here maybe you just like it like I do <laughs> if you can't tell I'm kind of a nerd about the watercraft and transportation I love the monorail the boats obviously I love Disney Cruise Line as well that's a whole other topic the ships but which is your favorite because i feel like the boats are very florida and i'm a florida girl so i think boats are my favorite but i do love trains too so let me know what your favorite are happy anniversary of walt disney world keep on bringing magic keep on bringing more things back for all the guests it brings happiness and magic to everyone and thank you all for hanging out with me for something unique and different and special to me at least, and hopefully to you too, a day out on Bay Lake, October 1st, 2023. So once again, happy October. I hope you're having a beautiful fall wherever you are. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, oh, I hope my hat doesn't fly off. Stay enthused. Bye.